Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. So today we're going to be showing you free spotting scopes at free varying price ranges. You've got your budget, your mid-priced, and you're getting towards top end at around about your thousand pound mark. So what this video is going to do, it's a quick introduction. We were going to do a lot longer in-depth review for you, but you'll see by the footage that we've got, it's a bit windy here and it's just wobbling the uh, scopes around on the tripods. So you're not getting that image quality that we'd like to show you at 600 odd yards. So what this is going to do, it's going to show you what the image quality is like at 100 yards and hopefully manage your expectations on what you should expect out of a spotting scope of, as I say, three different budgets and three different makes. Down there, we've got a board that's got a 2-2 bullet hole in it. We've got a 243 and a 308. So it gives you something to go by on actual real life sizes and set at exactly 100 meters. So guys, first one we've got today is the Hawk Vantage 24 by 72 by 70. So this is the budget range that we've got. This is sub 200 pounds at the moment. And what, what I'm gonna do is we've got the camera on the back here and I'm just gonna focus this in onto that one out there. So that's pretty clear for as far as we're going to get it today. Um, all the bullet holes are crisp, you can see them. Um, you've got a bit of blurring and quite a lot of colour aberration around the white on the target. So obviously that is going to detract from the image and it is going to detract from that sharpness for um, seeing where your bullet holes are and obviously seeing that against the black background if your target is obviously a black ring with a v-ball and you're trying to see that you may struggle because of that aberration not giving you sharpness or detail so I mean, for the money at 100 yards it's definitely sorry 100 meters it's definitely more than usable um, so we'll move on to the next two models being the delta and then finally we'll move on to the athlon chronos that we have so guys part number two for this as I saying, using the Delta 15 to 45 by 65. Now, this one here is a bit more expensive, but it's got just over half of what the magnification capability of the Vantage had. Now, when you see the image quality through this, you are going to be really surprised and blown away by, by the difference in color aberration, by the sharpness of the image. And because of how crisp and sharp the image is, it makes it look like it's got more magnification than what it actually has. So just gonna do a bit of recording here. Just tap that on there. And we're just gonna focus that in and out a few times. So as you can see, the image almost pops when it becomes clear. So the actual clarity you get, although it's only at 45 times magnification, even the 0.22 bullet hole, you can see really clearly all the way around the edge of where it is, and even the detail to how the paper's ripped on it. So you'd expect to see that at 70 odd magnification, for which Advantage had, but because you can hardly see it through that, you wouldn't expect the 45 to cope. But as I say, because of the glass quality on the Delta products, it just makes that image so much better, so much clearer and easier to use. So as you can see, you can make your own mind up on that, but I think my mind's made up on where I'd rather spend my money out of the two so far. Hi guys, this is the third and final one of the test. This is the Athlon Cronus 7 to 42 by 60. Uh, this was a little bit different to the last two that we had. Obviously, as you saw, we had our adapters on the back with the phone. This one, the adapter doesn't fit on because there's a little bit of eye relief on this. It's a milling type based first focal plane, so it allows you to measure with the reticle. And because of that, it does have a certain amount of eye relief on it. So we had to hold the phone and we pre-recorded it because it's a little bit clumsy and it just it was not going to be very nice for you to sit there and watch me try to fiddle around getting it sorted so through this one of the image once again you've got a lot better image you haven't got that color aberration once again it's 42 mag so it is a lot lower than the first one we showed you but the image quality is there and obviously the field of view you're probably gonna have the same field of view as this one to the delta or very similar but the image does look closer to you as it did with the delta than what you'd expect it to on 42 and 45 times magnification and that is just due to the glass quality and the clarity that is actually there okay guys so these are the three images side by side on the screen so this will give you a comparison obviously all at one time rather than having to view them at different times you can now notice the clarity difference between the vantage then that going on to the delta and the athlon so guys, hope that clears up what your expectations should be out of three different spotting scopes at that 100 metres. 
what we will do in future we're going to be putting a video out later on that's got sort of 300 and 600 just to show you what you're going to expect at them ranges be a bit nicer day for that so it's probably going to be a few months yet but if you there's any more questions you'd like obviously any spotted scopes or anything you'd like us to do with the spotted scopes please drop us a message email or give us a call and we'll do what we can thanks for watching